The spirited monthly newspaper, The World's Advanced Thought, was a monthly periodical founded by Lucy A. Mallory in 1886. The paper's motto was, Love is the way, the truth, and the life. Mrs. Lucy Mallory contributed her own spiritual writings as well as the inspired contributions of others. She served as writer, editor, and publisher of the paper, which had an international readership that included renowned Russian author and vegetarian Leo Tolstoy. Through this uplifting publication, Lucy Mallory highlighted themes that emphasized the inner light of the human being. She also advocated vegetarianism for its loving kindness to other beings. Throughout her life, Lucy Mallory also acted on her humanitarian beliefs. She used her own funds, for example, to open a school for children of color so that they could receive an education. She was also an animal rights activist and a vegetarian advocate who hosted meetings of the local vegetarian society in her newspaper's office. She once said, vegetarianism is becoming worldwide. We are not speaking of forced vegetarianism. That doesn't count. We are speaking of vegetarians who have adopted the humane diet because of a sense of justice to animals. And also, the animal is not soulless. It has the seeds of all human principles. Through the lower forms of life, these seeds are dormant. Every human principle is there, but unborn, save the vital, the astral, and the instrumental. We now share with you selections from the periodical The World's Advance Thought. The God of Life in All Whatever distracts the attention of men from respect and kindness to any form of life, whatever causes them to ignorantly maltreat and despise any form of life, what causes them to praise and glorify a God of mystery while ignoring the actual, living, breathing God of life in all and through all that is and lives is a detriment to the progress and unfoldment of humanity in the realization of infinite intelligence, infinite love, infinite wisdom and infinite harmony. The old disorder has been the worship and exaltation of death and the dead at the expense of life and the living. The diet of humanity has been derived to a great extent from cruelty, brutality and death. So has its amusements and thoughts. And a large share of its actions is to the end that the dead may be galvanized into a species of life. Dead customs, precedents, dogmas, errors and death dealers have been given the respect and consideration that should only be reserved for the living and life-giving. All the things that make life not worth the living are not due to more abundant life, but to daily and hourly worship of death, for death is corruption whether held in the mind or the body. Conscious life should be the fragrance of love and the beauty of wisdom. Life thus realized begems the pathway of man with the never-dying blossoms of peace, happiness, health, joy and prosperity. Where humanity to resolve to bury death and its fearful worship in diet, thought, feeling and action away from sight beneath the ground where its corruption belongs, and exult in holy thought and action, the living deity in ceaseless and endless manifestation, the life of humanity would be a continual exaltation and progression. Voice of Prophecy Rejoice! The light is breaking. Not with sound of many thunders, not with miracles and wonders, would I herald forth my coming from the peaceful spirit shore, but in God's own love descending. With your aspirations blending, I will teach you of the future, that you watch and weep no more. God is God from the creation. Truth alone is man's salvation, but the God that now you worship soon shall be your God no more. For the soul in its unfolding, evermore its thoughts remolding, learns more truly in its progress how to love and to adore. Evil is of good twin brother, 
born of God and of none other. And though truth seems slain of error through the ills that men deplore, yet still nearer to perfection, she shall know a resurrection, passing on from ceaseless glory unto glory evermore. Key Thoughts Ask, and you shall receive. Heaven and hell are both homemade. Heaven is materialized happiness. What is love? Yourself is the eternal problem you are solving. Be diligent in good doing. Be absent when ill manifests. The worst mixed problem will work itself out right in time. If you think the good, some good will always be in waiting for you. The one who makes the best of all difficulties gets the best time. Peace of mind keeps us in touch with the holy angels of the Lord. All the good and evil in the world is summed up in the words, love and hate. When you can eliminate fear from your mind, you are free. Otherwise, you are a slave. The thing we can do without, we own. The thing we cannot do without, owns us. Abide in peace and you will take on the immortal consciousness. You had better take the truth from your own free will than to have to take it from necessity. With the enlightenment of this age, natural depravity is giving place to prenatal ignorance. The world does move, and it's moving on to something better all the time. It gets into many a rut, but it gets out and goes on again. When one can keep an even frame of mind, no matter what the turmoil, you have found the secret of perfect success and control of the mind. What is it that makes life so beautiful and grand, so truly, so really worth the living? Is it your loving heart and your clean, noble mind without a stain? Why so seas of pain and cruelty when we want all living forms to give us pleasure and kindness? Besides, sometimes planted seeds bear fruit, and then it's too late to ask, what shall the harvest be? Never forget that the Lord is over all. Right thinking is the only saviour needed. If you do not want ugliness, cease to make it. If you think the bad, you will have all kinds of evil attending you. What is called making a living is a dying process generally speaking. Time is the one thing that cannot be controlled. God could not stop it. Life is unclouded joy. If you fill your consciousness with the good, the angels of the Lord will abide with you. If your minds are clear from impure thoughts and peace and gladness will be ever present. The mortal who takes all privileges to himself and allows none to others is on a very low plane of consciousness. From first to last, from the greatest to the smallest, everything is one. Do not give up your efforts. All things come to those who are faithful. Man is never as black as he is painted nor is he as bright as he would like to appear to others. People who talk of dying don't know what life is. Otherwise, they would see that death is a new birth instead of annihilation. Make your life a constant benediction to all, for if you don't, this is the reason why life to you is a curse instead of blessings. Listen for the voice from the silence and you will need no other advisor. And your way will be through pleasant places. The Lord will bless you. Don't despise the common things of life. The roots must go down into the dirt before there can be any growth upward into the light. Genius, by its superior thought, takes common wood, stone and metal and makes masterpieces of them. Be a genius and make a heaven of your crude mind. When people live lives of purity in thought, feeling, action and diet, death will be no more. Because involved in that state of being is the realization of life immortal. Then death, the last enemy, will be destroyed. It is the purity of the life that abolishes death. Sin is the veil that hides life immortal from our consciousness. Brilliant viewers, it's been a pleasure to have your company on today's Words of Wisdom 